I'm Olivia Bailey, and if you're seeing me right now, you're probably watching EHC TV on Comcast Cable, or you might be listening to WEHC 90.7. Whether you're hearing or seeing me right now, I'm glad you're tuned in. My guest today is a student athletic trainer, Dustin Anderson. Dustin, thank you for being on the set today. Thank you for having me. Well, um, athletic trainers here on campus are pretty popular. There's um, quite a few here to help the athletes and the coaches um, in the athletics department. Can you kind of explain to us what athletic trainers do here on campus? As a student, um, before practices, we get um, the water, everything ready. We get the, the athletes prepped for practice. After practice, we make sure um, they're fine. If they need to be iced down, we ice them. If anything happens during practice, um, we check to see if the injury is severe enough to settle them out, if they can go back in, uh, make a note of that so we can keep track of it. Um, but as we go along in the program, as uh, started in as a sophomore to the time you're a senior, you, get, you gain a lot more autonomy and more responsibilities as you go through the classes and understand more about what's going on. Okay, so you kind of touched on this a little bit, but um, uh, anyone who's here on campus knows that our athletic trainers has, um, have a rigorous curriculum that they have to go through and a lot of observations that they have to do. Can you kind of ex uh, explain um, what some of the athletic trainers have to go through, what type of classes that you take? Uh, first, you have to get into the program. There's a formal interview process. There's usually 12 slots open per class, but since just because there's 12 slots open doesn't mean 12 students can get in. You have to meet um, proficiencies to get in and you have to maintain proficiencies to stay in. Um, as a sophomore, you will just take general um, evaluation classes. You'll take uh, applied anatomy and kinesiology, therapeutic modalities. Um, as a junior, um, you will take um, more advanced biology classes and continue your education through clinical experience. And our clinical experiences are with the sports teams, but also we have off-sites at um, family health facilities, uh, physical therapy clinics, and um, any sites that want to have us there. Um, what kind of experiences have you had with observations and working with sports teams? Um, I've had quite a, uh, quite a um, a lot of experiences with the sports teams here, but also um, I worked at Virginia High um, the first semester of my junior year. Um, it was great um, to get off campus, uh, to work with high school athletes. Um, it, there's sort of a different um, mindset there. They really don't know what we, we do. They sort of just treat us as, as, as um, I don't want to say water boys, but that's pretty much what they think we are. But when you get to the college setting, um, our athletes know what, we, what we're there for, what we can do for them. Um, also, I've had the opportunities to work AAU tournaments, um, ranging from children that are five, year old, five years old to, to 14. I actually uh, worked one in Kingsport this weekend with Chase Edwards. And um, so you talked about some of your experiences with other teams. Um, would you say that you've had a favorite experience, or is, there, um, is one of your teams a favorite or a favorite sport that you've had working with? No, not really teams. I, I enjoy the, uh, working with the athletes. Um, the relationships that you develop with them, because there's a there's has to be a great amount of trust that goes both ways. Um, you have to trust them that they're telling you they're telling you the truth, and they have to trust you that um, you're going to be able to um, get them back, and you know what you're talking about. Um, but as far as teams, no, I, I just enjoy working with the athletes. So you um, individually coming into Emory and Henry, how did you get involved in the athletic training program? I transferred into Emory and Henry as a physical education major and actually didn't know they had an athletic training program and I was going through the catalog and I was like, hey, this, this major looks intense and I think I can handle it and it seemed like a challenge and um, I always wanted to be part of athletics um, and I'm glad I switched to, to athletic training. So what do you think some of the perks have been um, from switching to, from, from physical education to athletic training? Again, I always go back to I enjoy working with athletes, so you really, really have to en enjoy your major before you can get the full benefit out of it. And um, like I said, it's a challenge. It's like you're a detective for the human body. If an athlete comes and says, you know, my elbow's hurting, you have to figure out why it's hurting and how you can get them back to play or you can improve the quality of their life just um, by helping, through, helping them through that injury. And I know that you guys do a significant amount of research um, as athletic trainers. Um, you gave an, a lyceum on concussions um, just recently this week, and um, you said that you're presenting research at um, Science Fest, mm -hmm. I believe it was. Can you explain some of the research that you've done as an athletic trainer? Um, our fall semester of our senior year, we have to go through a research and design class. It takes care of our written and oral proficiencies. Um, so I did original research. I looked at um, our football team actually returning defensive starters 
to see if sports testing could actually predict player performance. So the official title of my research was Analysis of Sports Testing as a Predictor of Athletic Performance in Division Three Football Players. Chase Edwards is also going to be presenting Saturday. He did a um, case study on quadrilateral space syndrome. And it's, it's a little uh, um, off, I don't want to say off kilter for the, for the Science Fest, but I hope we're going to add a little bit of, of flavor to it um, with everything. And uh, for someone who isn't science-minded or oriented like me, um, can you kind of explain uh, some of the things that you did to test some of your um, hypotheses in this? I basically just looked at records. I looked at um, their preseason testing. Then uh, the defensive coaches kept statistics on player performance. Say they made a tackle, they got so many points for that. They missed a tackle, they um, were deducted so many points. So it was it was just to see how they um, uh, were on the football field, it didn't take into the coach's um, opinion of them or anything else. It was just straight numbers to actually see if there was a correlation between player performance and their sports testing. So it looks like from an outside perspective that there are a lot of routes that athletic trainers can take and um, uh, Emory and Henry is actually um, opening up a new PT program, a physical therapy program in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, can you kind of describe some of the routes that athletic trainers can take and what they might be involved in after college? We're, we're expanding um, past the traditional setting with athletics. We're also becoming physicists and extenders, working in a clinical setting, uh, working with the military, working in private clinics, of course, working with professional college and um, high school football teams. Also, there's a push to have um, athletic trainers in high schools just because of our, uh, because concussions are coming to the forefront in education um, and awareness is increasing with those. But we have opportunities to um, expand the field beyond athletics. So um, you as an individual, what are you looking to do after you graduate from Emory and Henry as an athletic training um, major? Fighting the good battle of trying to get into graduate school. Um, I actually have a visit at West Virginia Wesleyan Thursday. Um, hopefully that will go well. Um, after that, I'm planning on going to the military for four to six years and coming out getting my doctorate in sports medicine, hopefully eventually teaching or working in um, some area of athletics with that. So um, what is your biggest interest as far as um, doing something as, uh, in the athletic training? Again, it just goes back to the athletes. I think to be a successful athletic trainer, you have to have a genuine quick care for individuals because you see them not only when they're healthy, but when they're hurt. And um, you gotta be able to, to figure out what's wrong with them. And that's one thing they teach us is uh, differentials. There may be more than one thing going on. So it's your ability to figure out what it is and know that there's more than one thing that could be wrong with them to get them back. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dustin. I know as an athlete, I definitely appreciate what you guys do and the relationship that we have with you guys. And um, I wish you the best of luck as far as your um, graduate studies go and um, the athletic, pro pro uh, athletic training program in general. So thank, thank you. you. You've been listening to the sports interview from Emory & Henry Reports on EHGTV. You can find us on Comcast Cable Channel 70 and 95 on Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7. Thanks for joining me, Olivia Bailey, for this sports interview.